Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce a rectangular waveguide and what are the different types of modes that this waveguide supports. So, before going to this rectangular waveguide, let me recall the definition of a waveguide. What is the definition of a waveguide? Waveguide is nothing but it is a halo metallic tube. Halo metallic tube that is used to transmit electromagnetic signal. <coughs> so, waveguide waveguide so what is the definition a halo a halo metallic tube a halo metallic tube metals means any type of uh, good conductors we can use like copper aluminum gold okay nothing is there inside the waveguide that's why it is halo halo metallic tube used to transmit electromagnetic signal em signals <coughs> okay em signal it is having a uniform cross section area this halo metallic tube is having uniform cross section area that is used to transmit the electromagnetic signal with the property called what is the property that it uses with the property called what is that total internal reflection total internal reflection nothing but because of the inner walls are coated with aluminium or any type of good conductor whatever the electromagnetic signal falls on that immediately reflected back again reflected back so because of these number of reflections the signal is transmitted in the waveguide that is the actual property that this waveguide has <coughs> in the inside the walls inside the walls which is called waveguide okay so waveguide is nothing but normally it is a rect uh, halo metallic tube used to transmit the electromagnetic signal that is having uniform cross sectional area with the property called internal there that means the electromagnetic signal can be transmitted with the property called internal reflections within the walls of the waveguide now what do you mean by rectangular waveguide what do you mean by rectangular waveguide rectangular waveguide just different types of waveguides are there Dep depending on the shape of the waveguide different waveguides came into existence shape of the waveguide here the name clearly tells that it is a rectangular waveguide nothing but it is in the shape of a rectangle it is in the shape of a rectangle uh, suppose see this is the rectangular waveguide front view and in three dimensional if you want to see this is the waveguide okay this is the waveguide so this is the input port and here we are having an output port okay this is the output port the signal is going inside here and it is coming out we can see inside and outside the, of course we cannot see the electromagnetic signal we can calculate the power radiation pattern coming out using different types of devices the signal which goes inside and coming out that will take number of reflections inside it goes touches this upper part and again goes down touches this bottom part again coming up and down up and down like this and again it is coming out this is the way how actually the signal is being transmitted in the rectangular waveguide now so what is this rectangular waveguide a rectangular waveguide i will write rwg which is a rectangular waveguide which is nothing but a rectangular waveguide so rectangular waveguide is one of the earliest types rectangular waveguide is nothing but one of the one of the earliest types of the transmission line nothing but this is the oldest type okay earliest types of earliest types of the transmission lines in the case in the com complete transmission line terminology this is the oldest method that the communications have been used okay and they are used in many applications rectangular waveguides are generally prepared in many applications a lot of components such as isolators detectors attenuators 
couplers or the slotted lines slotted lines all these are different types of devices you may come across in the laboratory and uh, definitely in this subject i will explain one by one when time comes okay uh, all these are rectangular waveguides isolators detectors attenuators couplers and uh, slotted section carriages all these are available with a rectangular shape and they are used to operate in the range of 1 giga to 200 giga hertz so example for these rectangular waveguides are isolators gyrators detectors detectors attenuators variable attenuator is there fixed attenuator is there different components are there in the waveguide and couplers <coughs> directional coupler okay couplers are nothing but a directional coupler and a different uh, slotted section carriages circulators slotted carriages slotted section carriages okay so these are the different types of uh, uh, devices or microwave components available with the rectangular waveguides and all these are operating with uh, all the above components mentioned all the above mentioned components all the above mentioned components are operated yet what is the range of frequencies micro frequency range so appropriately we can say 1 gigahertz to uh, like uh, 220 gigahertz 1 gigahertz to 220 gigahertz so more appropriate frequency band that the waveguides are being operated so all these are 1 gigahertz to 220 gigahertz yes, sir. <clears throat> so and another important point is a, a rectangular waveguide i already told you in the case of uh, waveguides a rectangular waveguide a rectangular waveguide supports a rectangular waveguide supports what are the different modes or different waves that it supports to transmit TE and TEM waves. TE and TEM waves or TE and TEM modes. What do you mean by TE and TEM? TE and TEM means transverse electric and transverse magnetic. Transverse electric and transverse magnetic. That means only TE and TEM modes are able to transmit, but whereas TEM modes cannot be transmitted. But TEM mode cannot be occurred. TEM mode will not occur. Will not occur in the TEM modes will not occur in the what is that? It is will not it will not occur in the rectangular waveguide. It will not occur in this rectangular waveguide. Okay. So I will explain what about this uh, TE and TM modes, EM modes, uh, I will explain all these when we go into the modes, okay. So a rectangular waveguide uh, and another thing is a waveguide uh, whatever the properties we are studying in the waveguide the same can also be applied to the rectangular waveguide, okay. So a rectangular waveguide, a rectangular waveguide cannot propagate below some certain frequencies that frequency is known as cutoff frequency rectangular waveguide is able to transmit the signal transmit the signals whatever this electromagnetic signal transmit this electromagnetic signal with frequency what is that frequency greater than frequency greater than greater than cutoff frequency greater than cutoff frequency fc okay so the frequency transmitted in the waveguides that is greater than cutoff frequency below those frequencies it will not transmit okay below those frequencies the signal cannot be transmitted in the K rectangular waveguide okay now let us see what are the different types of modes are there actually and uh, which are supported by this rectangular waveguide and not supported by the rectangular waveguide. We will see. Already I told you TE and TM modes are supported by this rectangular or normally waveguides but uh, TEM mode does not exist in this rectangular waveguide. Okay. See uh, why TEM mode does not exist uh, I will explain uh, more mathematically when we go into the calculation of propagation of waves in the TE and TM modes. Okay, with those uh, propagation or uh, what, what is that we can say line wave equation. 
with that verification you can understand which type of mode existed and which type of mode does not exist in the rectangular waveguide so coming to this modes of waveguide modes of waveguide so what are the modes of waveguides generally what are the different types of modes of waveguide okay so looking at the waveguide theory looking at this waveguide theory it is possible to calculate there are it is uh, there are a number of formats in the electromagnetic wave that can propagate within the waveguide electromagnetic wave can travel in many directions okay uh, you can say in a vertical horizontal or in any direction in any orientation we can say in any orientation that the wave can transmit in the travel in the waveguide so these different types of waves corresponding to different elements within the electromagnetic wave okay <clears throat> suppose the wave can travel in this way or wave can transmit this is vertical direction okay and wave, wave can transmit with other orientation like this with other orientation like this so different types of orientation are there that can be existed by this waveguide so each and every orientation is nothing but we are calling it as a mode hope you understand okay so such type of uh, modes are generally te mode tm mode next one is tm mode te mode tm mode tm mode okay so these are the different uh, types of modes that are existed in the case of waveguides now te mode te mode so what do you mean by te mode transverse te stands for transverse electric transverse electric transverse electric nothing but the wave the wave which is perpendicular to the electric field transverse electric field is nothing but perpendicular to the electric field the wave which is perpendicular to the electric field that is known as te wave it doesn't mean that the electric field component is present in the signal okay the wave which is perpendicular perpendicular to the electric field the wave which is perpendicular to the electric field is nothing but te mode or te wave that means if you have taken a wave that is propagating in a z direction if the wave is propagated in z direction then e z is equal to 0 and h z is not equal to 0 h z is not equal to 0 transverse electric perpendicular to the electric which magnet which component is existed magnetic component that's why magnetic component is existed it's a non zero value but what about the electric field electric field is zero and similarly tm mode tm mode same transverse electric transverse magnetic transverse magnetic transverse magnetic nothing but the wave which travels the wave which is prop perpendicular to the wave which is perpendicular to the magnetic field magnetic field which is existed electric field is existed that's why e z is not equal to zero and h z is equal to zero so depending upon the type of the wave the type of the mode the other component is existed in case of te H magnetic component is existed and electric component is zero. In case of TM, electric component is zero, magnetic component is sorry, magnetic component is zero, electric component is non-zero. And similarly, if you go to the next one, TEM mode. TEM. What do you mean by TEM? Transverse. Transverse electric and magnetic. Transverse electric and magnetic in the case of transverse electric and magnetic it supports it has it means it means the wave which is perpendicular to 
which is perpendicular to both electric field both electric field and magnetic field so it has it means the wave it refers to a wave that is perpendicular to both electric field and as well as magnetic field that means electric field component perpendicular nothing but zero magnetic field component perpendicular to it means this is also zero but what about this uh, TEM mode in rectangular waveguide only two types of uh, possibilities are there TE and TM but whereas TEM does not exist because such type of uh, EZ and EZ both zeros will not come will not exist because uh, you can understand from the wave equation okay mean that if you substitute this uh, EZ is equal to zero and EZ is equal to zero in that wave equation the entire output becomes zero entire output equation becomes zero okay wave equation becomes zero that means we, uh, your transverse electric and magnetic field does not exist in that case okay so these are the modes and rectangular waveguides introduction and the different types of modes existed in the rectangular waveguide in the next class i will start the solution solutions for different types of wave equations propagation of waves in te and tm modes Thank you.